Mizzy World Entertainment is back to present episode 12 of Mad Mizzy Sports, hosted by yours truly, Mizzy World, and my big bro, Raw Dog. What's the deal, bro? Hey, bro. Yes, sir. Episode 12, man. Are you a little somber because your boys got beat on last night? Yeah, man. That's, that's I mean, they should have made it easy, man. They should have made that. They should have wanted to swept these motherfuckers. But you know, Golden State always got to make it make shit hard. Yeah. Got to yeah. make it more difficult, I can say. Exactly, exactly. But uh, let's start off with the Brittany Griner situation. Uh, she's been detained in Russia since what? Fe- March, February like, or something March like that? March 5th. I think March somewhere 5th. around there. Somewhere around yeah, there. Yeah, somewhere, somewhere around in March. that time. So, uh, yeah, it's been, I think, 90 days that they said, 90 days or above. They just classified her as. Uh, unwarranted detained or something like that Un- unlawful detained yeah unlawfully detained so what's your opinion on that situation man do you see her coming home soon i'm, I'm hoping she coming home soon it seems like russia is trying to you know do what they can do to get under the u.s skin as usual um mm-hmm. i don't know man it, it's a shame because she didn't she almost like like we talked about earlier mm-hmm. she didn't want to go she mm-hmm. second she second guessed going not because it was russia she because she was tired you mm-hmm. know what i mean mm-hmm. and why well, I say go with your first instinct. Look what it cost you. Exactly, exactly. Um, my first opinion is my first uh thought was just like, damn, like, uh, just a uh a, a poor time to, you get what I'm saying? I guess uh get caught in that situation with the invasion of Ukraine and all that. So just a a, a bad time to really be detained in Russia was my initial thought, and then the initial thought was. I didn't think it was going to be resolved any uh any time fast just because of the reason she was being detained. They could always just say, I mean, I don't know what the legal ramifications are for marijuana in Russia, but uh, yeah, that that's always going to be used as a as a pawn regardless of the legality in the United States. I don't I don't know what the uh, legality is with it in Russia and all that. So that's a tough one, and then. Like we spoke on earlier, it's just like the uh the political point of view of like you said they 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 trying to use this as a ploy to pull the United States into a possible war. You get what I'm saying, or a war X to have reasons to start a war. You get what I'm saying. Right. So they gotta tread lightly with it. Um, hoping she comes home soon. I I believe she will come home soon simply because uh she has been over there. She has she 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 done well for Russia in general. You you feel what I'm saying? With her basketball um, career over there. So I feel like she'll come home soon. We'll just have to see how soon. You get what I'm saying? But moving on, let's move on to the Eastern Conference Finals. Man, what a uh, lopsided series so far. What's your opinion on the series so far? And are you wavering on your pick? I'm giving you one last shot, man, it's to jump ship. I'm not going to waver on the pick. I'm going to still stick with Miami. It's not looking good for them. Uh-huh. Um, but I'm going to still stick with them. Uh, like you said, it's been a lopsided series. It's been either all the way one way, mm-hmm. all the way the other way. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't see how they're gonna win mm-hmm. the rest of the game. They got to win straight, right? Two but straight. I'm, I'm still, I'm still stick two straight. I'm still stick with them, but it ain't looking good. You basically going down with the ship, man. Yeah, I'm going down with the ship. Yeah, hey. Uh, gotta that's that's that. exactly that's why that's why I bangs with you that's why I fucks with you. I uh, gotta go down with the ship, but um, what my take from this series is just that uh, I feel as though Boston is definitely the more talented team. Um, you look at the wing, uh, the wing explosiveness of Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum in comparison to just having Jimmy Butler and then Jimmy Butler being hobbled or exhausted. What what and and then let me ask you that. What did you see from Jimmy Butler last night? Was it more exhaustion? Was it uh? Do you think the knees bothering him? What is it? I because he's clearly I not the he, same player and that is, started it, off the series. This is not no excuse because everybody's hurt right now in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Everybody's banged up, mm-hmm. but I think he a lot more hurt than he we leave know. knowing because he wants to play. You know, what yeah, I'm saying? I, I I I I totally agree. But if he's gonna play like that, then he might have to keep. He might have to be honest with himself. You, you get what see my fucking uh. Uh, hero sitting on the fucking over there on the floor with exactly. all white on him. Exactly, looking like shit. he about to uh, go shoot Miami Vice yeah. somewhere. You feel what I'm saying? But uh, yeah. Um, to me, it looked like it was uh probably hurting us. He airballed two shots back to back. It was just pitiful. But my, like I said, the thing that I took is that Boston has been the more uh complete team, the more um talented team. You look at, I believe, Miami Heat have only won two quarters in this series. So that's how they got their two games was just two blowout quarters in game two and then in game three. So, yeah, man, uh, I'm excited to see Warriors versus Celtics. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say that. But um, 
I would I, I do. Uh, what do you? What is your opinion on Embiid's tweet about the Miami Heat needing another star? Do you I, do you agree with that? I think they need another star. I just I just also think that Embiid being Embiid, man. Of course, he's definitely trolling. But it was funny as hell, and that's when I saw that when I woke up. I but it, but they, I think it's an I honest think, statement though. It's an honest statement. I think they need another piece. Yeah. I think. I mean, that's a that's have, a that's a clear. What you have is not that's enough. obvious right now. Yep. Yeah. What you have is clearly not enough. Yep. Even if you were to get through somehow to get through the Eastern Conference Finals, there's no way you hang with the Warriors with no, that absolutely. with that lack of firepower that they have. So not at all. Exactly. So uh, moving on, let's go on to our Warriors and them looking like they just content with giving giving out the gentleman sweep yeah. this year, man. Uh, what's your opinion about uh, Game Four? And what do you see from tonight in Game Five? I hate the fact that the Warriors always do this shit. Like they they live to make life difficult. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like he's like, you got li- we got to do everything. Live on home. the edge. Let's let's. Be- I want to win it at home. The fans deserve it. They don't watch y'all win three championships. Curry, they watch you win three championships. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Like, like mine, all of them. Yeah, dude. all of them. But I mean, like they, that's okay. Mm-hmm. They much rather y'all win it, sweep their asses, come back home, rest, and then get ready for whoever you're gonna be playing. Yep. But you know they got they got to make it difficult, man. But I I do believe that they won tonight. Mm-hmm. They undefeated at home in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. They haven't lost, so I think they'll take it tonight. I think they'll take about like fifteen at least. Okay, great statistic. I did not know that that they were undefeated in the playoffs thus far. Probably just slipped my mind. Um, but yeah, uh, completely agree. They they somehow always got to try to finish it off at home. Um, that is a thing to me, in my opinion, that I feel like. Uh, can be a little nerve wracking for us Warrior fans, but um, they are clearly the more talented team. Have a lot more firepower. You've seen them chop down a twenty nine point lead to an eight point lead lead in what eight minutes? You feel what I'm saying? With the young with the young guns out there, you see what I'm saying? So their stack team, I feel like like uh, Raw says the the older crew, the crew that's going to really dictate winning and losing. They probably more so are focused on trying to uh, close it out at home, do it in dramatic fashion. Yeah, Monica, you be hating on the Warriors, and when, when we see y'all, we going we gonna get into a little debate about the Warriors, cause hey, man, stuff, greatest point guard of all time, especially if he close it out with the uh the ring and the uh, Finals MVP. No get doubt, him, if, get, he, if he win a ring this year, he's the greatest point guard of all time. Greatest it's, point it's, guard of all time. Not even close. And we are gonna have a little segment where we explain to y'all why he is a point guard. That's gonna be later on down the line though. This is episode twelve, Mad Music Sports, NBA, Mizzy World ENT, Raw eight ten. Like, comment, share, subscribe, listen, gang.